And now to a story that is rarely ever told. Many of us find it easy to criticize and dismiss those members of society referred to as commercial sex workers. But have you ever wondered why a woman or indeed a man would choose to engage in such risky business? And what are the experiences of these ladies and men of the night? Take a look. A 31-year-old Jane Kawira, not her real name, tells us that it takes courage, desperation and strength for a girl or a woman to decide to get into the trade euphemistically called commercial sex work. And she would know because she has been doing this job for the last 10 years. Your house will be locked, your kids will be kicked out of school, you'll have to borrow food from the neighbors and the family. You see, it's a burden, you'll become a burden to the society. With this unorthodox job publicly frowned by society but secretly taken advantage of and even enjoyed by men and women alike, Kawira is bringing up her two children. She provides for them and ensures they never lack for anything. She believes it is the only job left for a single mother with no basic education and no skills for any serious job. You, you get to live with it because there are no jobs. But Kawira and her friends and colleagues in this trade have stories to tell that would make your blood crawl. Despite being considered a job where girls go for easy money, they tell us it is the riskiest and dirtiest job on the planet. She and her friend, whom we shall call Grace, give gory details of what they go through almost every single night. I've had a, a, an incident of uh, a client beating me up because uh, he refused to pay me my money after what we had agreed and done. So he refused to pay me. So he beat me up. Last year, I was in the hospital. 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 They killed like three people, uh, three sex workers. Okay, we've been having more than ten murder cases in Nairobi mm, since last year till now. Yeah, where girls are being murdered by the police and also by the clans themselves. For many ordinary citizens with decent occupation, the police would quickly be accessible and helpful whenever a problem arises. But sex workers say many police officers only pile more torture onto them when they meet. <laughs> And if you talk, I'll say you had stolen from me. Why should they be arrested? Okay, they can be arrested, but why should a police arrest as well as beat a sex worker? So those are some of the questions we ask as human rights. Unlike civil society protests that are covered by a bevy of journalists and beamed across radio and TV stations, even demonstrations by sex workers are laughed off by society when they hit the streets to demand fairness. Take the example of the recent demonstrations at City Mortuary in Nairobi when they claimed a police officer had killed one of their own. Even sex work is work, like any other work. But if things are this bad, why do they stay in the business? In a night I can make like 10,000. So are you, if I can get a job that is paying me every day 10,000 or more than 10,000 every day, I'd go for it. Male sex workers also exist and they have even told stories of being denied medical services when they go to certain hospitals. All said and done, prostitution is still illegal in Kenya and would often get these workers in trouble with the authorities.